Hello everyone, this is Ralphie88, and I'm here to show you how you can enhance the graphics of your old games on PC using the NVIDIA control panel. So, uh, this usually works for games that were released from more than a decade ago, and uh, what I'm going to use to test this out is uh, MW2. So first I want to review the options here. Uh, to get to the NVIDIA control panel all you have to do is right click your desktop and uh, it should appear right there. Or you can also go to the little arrow on the lower right corner of the screen. It's next to the Wi-Fi logo and you can just simply go over here double click that and launch it so uh, you want to make sure that you're in the manage 3d section settings category and uh, you want to go to program settings it's going to take a little bit okay. so uh, you want to select your game here or if it's not listed, you can just add it. And uh, okay, so these are all default settings, but there are a couple of options that I want to review with you. So the first one is here's ambient occlusion. So what this does is make shadows and lighting more realistic. And uh, some some a lot of games really don't support this feature from the control panel. So if it doesn't support it, it says uh, it'll say that it's not supported. Like uh, let me switch to a different game here. Uh, let's do this one. So yeah, if it's not supported, it'll say that it's not supported for this application. So you won't be able to use that, but apparently it works for MW2. So uh, you want to, of course, put this to quality. And uh, next, this is what you want to use if the game doesn't have any anti-aliasing options. Uh, you would usually turn. FXAA on from the control panel and uh, it'll apply the anti-aliasing but uh, Call of Duty already has anti-aliasing in it so I'm not going to turn it on for the purpose of that and there's multi-frame sampled AA so this works together with MSAA which is what Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 uses so uh, it also helps improve performance as well so uh, you also want to turn this on it, it helps performance at the same time as improving I guess the anti-aliasing And uh, you want to go here to texture filtering quality. And uh, what you want to do here is put this on high quality if um, if the game doesn't have any anastrophic filtering option. Uh, actually, I think I skipped it. Yeah. So. MW2 doesn't have an anastrophic filtering option in the video settings. I'm going to show you that right now. I'm going to go to show you what kind of settings this game has. Okay. So you can go to options here, advanced video. You will see I have everything on max. Except for these things, which I turned off, I don't need it. And, uh, see, 
everything here, but there is no under texture quality. There is no uh, anisotropic filtering here. So uh, what you want to do about that is you want to go here and you want to bump this up all the way to 16x. So that is going to improve the details of distant objects. And uh, back to what I was saying about texture filtering quality. You want to bump this all the way up to high quality and you'll see that it's going to gray these options out. And uh, this uh, I'm just going to leave this on a wow. So yeah, that's how you enhance the graphics of an old game. Pretty much if it looks ugly. And now uh, I'm going to show you some pictures of what kind of changes this does. Here we have some before and after pics. Uh, this is the before, and here is the after. So what you can notice is that on the floor, uh, the tiles have a lot more detail to them. I'm going to switch back and forth again so you can see the, the details of the tiles pop up more. They're more clear. And you can also see that the lighting on the gun has been improved. Or that might be because I took this, this picture in different positions, but it's whatever. You can clearly see the difference. And uh, when we go to a different map here, just focus on the fog in the distance. That's the after. Before. After. You can see that the fog is a lot more realistic. Compared to the original. Before I end this video, I want to show you the last thing you can do to make the graphics better so uh, you can go to global settings here under manage 3d settings and what you want to do is go to DSR factors and this would usually be off well, let me uncheck these real quick this would usually be off but you can select all these and it allows me to select up to 4K, which is 4 times 1080p. And DSR smoothness is going to pop up. You can just ignore this. And what this is going to do is make the game look sharper. And uh, that's pretty much what you need to do.